Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to the Sarah Jane Adventures Series 2, Episode 4, The Day of the Clown, Part 2. It's time to go and hang out with the clowns again. Um, not a fan of clowns, not a fan of the circus, but I like watching creepy things and Part 1 was really good. We were introduced to Rani. She seems really, she seems, because Maria was a strong character, right? But Rani seems, seems like she could, she could fill Maria's shoes. Um, she already believes that there are things out there, which I think has been a massive help. And I'm excited. I am also very intrigued that it is Bradley Walsh playing the clown. Um, I obviously I know him as Graham in Doctor Who and I loved him as Graham but for me he's best known as a presenter so it's it's quite nice kind of seeing his uh, acting skills and I'm very impressed by him I think he's <laughs> plays a very creepy clown so that's gosh I'm, I'm just so excited to see more creepy clowns records for Lower Saxony in the 13th century. The year before the Piper arrived. Yes, the Piper was in the meteor result. The meteorite had a diameter of 30.12 centimeters. An unlikely spacecraft, Rani. Still, what do we know about it? The meteorite is currently on loan for scientific research from the University of Munich. She likes her. But I'm already involved. Odd Bob is coming after me and every other kid that has one of these tickets. This is a four-gut defense field emitter. Turn it on, place it in the middle of your room. It'll throw up a force field that will stop anything getting in to harm you. Beyond that, make sure that you are never alone. Is that it? And I promise you, Rani, I will stop spelling them. Even if you do, you can't expect me just to live across the road and forget about all of them. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be able to. to never tell anyone. When my Aunt Lavinia was bringing me up, my room was <laughs> full of lots of old toys that used to be hers. One of them is marionette, a puppet clown. I never liked it. It always seemed to be watching me. 
Then one night, there was the most tremendous thunderstorm. Oh, that is disgusting. Rise and shine. Morning. Oh, Mum. Mum, are you all right? Oh, I don't know. Oh, is it um one of your migraines coming on? Oh, I suppose. Oh, it aches like I walked into a brick wall. What are you doing? This is oh, disgusting. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm going to find out what you are, Odd Bob. We're only scared of what we don't understand. What a name, Odd Bob. I know where you come from, what you really are. I will stop you. Suppose there isn't anything to be understood. Tell me about that. Oh, so was Maria one of you then, a fearless alien hunter? Yes. And that's what you meant when you said we couldn't be friends in the same way. <laughs> he's here. The balloon is Odd Bob, he's here. What's going on? Oh, God. It's as if the balloons are taking control of them. I took the children to create fear. And it's been doing the same thing ever since. Mum, I think you better get down here. Hey, turn around! You don't know what you're doing! Just, I... You're in danger! Oh, all of you! Like you could snatch the balloons out of them, oh, but then... Back. Where are you going? You'd be touching the balloon. Get some scissors, the snip. The circus museum. Let's see what he was talking about. He's going to make the whole school vanish. Look, whatever you do, don't follow them into the museum. I'll be there as soon as I can. Connected now. Oh, it looks like his line's busy. It must be Mr. Smith. He scanned school records and rung every pupil. Everyone's going back to school. <laughs> Where's he gone? Luke! No, I'm not having this. Ooh, no, Clyde. Clyde. Just stay here. You too, Rani. Luke is my son. I'm going after him on my own. You're Lunch. laughing, you're not scared. Right, Mr. Spellman. Listen to this. Two aerials got married. You should have seen the reception. Clyde! Another Joke. child. Stop it now. What's wrong, Mr. Spellman? Does the sound of laughter upset you? Does it frighten you? You will fear me! <laughs> it's getting weaker. Two fish are in a tank. One set together. Do you know how to drive this? An optician tells a guy he's colorblind. Well, that's a bolt out of the green. <laughs> how did Count Dracula escape from Transylvania? He used a blood vessel. I went to the dentist. He said, say R. I said, why? He said, the dog's dead. Of course. That's it. Sing again, Mr. Spellman. Aesthetic jokes. Hey, this is classic material. <laughs> I'm not going to destroy you, Mr. Spellman. I'm just going to put you back where you belong. This is where you belong. The meteor that brought you to Earth. You've always been attached to it, but you were strong enough to resist its pull. But not anymore, Mr. Spellman. The nightmare is over. Thank you, the 
Right. Where are the kids? Every alien busting team should have one. That was good thinking, Clyde. <laughs> it was Ronnie's idea. <laughs> yeah, but I told him to be funny. <laughs> Mum. Oh, look, look, look. So what happens now? She trusts me to keep all this secret. When it comes to getting a true glimpse of the universe, there are two types of people. Those who refuse to believe that would tell themselves anything to deny the evidence of their eyes. And those that embrace the universe and just how special life is. I wanted to stay that way, but and it's safe and secret. And that's me. <laughs> anyway, Harish is making veggie chili for tea. You're all welcome to share. <laughs> oh, I'd love to, but I really need to get on with some work. But you? Yeah, please. Come on. Harish is always cooking far too much food. He's got this thing about dumb French. <laughs> His mother always said I was far too skinny. <laughs> I am so thrilled with the Sarah Jane Adventures. I know I am a broken record. But I was so worried when Maria left. And whether we would get a replacement. But Rani has just like slotted right in. And I think that's to do with her having an open mind. I don't like it when... I guess even when you've got a companion in Doctor Who that they are just really close-minded. I like curious, open-minded people in life. They're the people I'm drawn to. So I'm just really, really thrilled. There are just some um, really great, powerful moments that are just so subtle. And again, I know this is technically a children's show because it went out on CBBC, but obviously it can be loved by everyone but there are just some the, the links between this and Doctor Who for me are really strong in those moments those tiny little sentimental moments that really reminded me actually of the 10th Doctor era um, with a beautiful bit of music playing in the background it, I'm just thrilled uh, it seemed quite easy to get rid of the clown but that's fine it made sense the way they did it with laughter I'm excited. I'm really excited to see where we go now, especially now that Rani, she had that device and obviously her mum walked into that electromagnetic field. And I do wonder whether her parents will ever find out. I don't think her dad will, but I think her mum might, which is exciting. Um, obviously we've got the additional thing of her dad being the headmaster so I'm just really excited but her mum is lovely really lovely which um, is great and yeah it would be nice to continue to have updates from Maria Luke is quite clearly really missing Maria but then this would be his first kind of introduction into losing someone in that sense so I'm really 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 excited thank you for joining me and I will see you very soon for episode five.